My name is Mike Henderson. I got into music without even knowing it. I just fell in love with the sound I heard on the radio. And the next thing I know, I was, uh, he's got a cigar box and I'm taking the rubber bands across it, trying to play like a guitar. There was a holiness church near us down the hill there. I used to hear Ann Ethel playing and singing on the guitar. And there was an Irish family that lived a uh, catacorn across the street from us, the Dennis's. And they uh, had two sons. One played guitar and the other one played fiddle. And they would do uh, country western songs. And oh man, I just love the sound of their guitar. So I wanted one so bad, so my uncle said, um, I'm going to make you one. So I get up one morning and he says, it's out there in the back. So I got up there by the smokehouse and he's got this... Uh, two by four with a wire stretched across it. I knew this wasn't a guitar, I was pretty disappointed. But after banging on it for a few hours and driving all the chickens and pigs crazy in the backyard and the neighbors, uh, I began to like it. And uh, But I didn't really get a real guitar until I was 21. And um, music really began for me when I came to San Francisco in 1965 and studied painting at the San Francisco Art Institute. And out here, I used to go up on Haight Street and to the Fillmore and the Avalon Ballroom, to the concert at the Strait Theater, uh, uh, Shore, Longshoreman's Hall, uh, the uh, Panhandle, let's see all these bands. Uh, and the music was just all in the air. And um, then I went to Monterey Pop, and that really changed my whole life around. I've never been the same since. <laughs> the CDs that I have, this is my most recent one. It's called Trouble Ain't No Stranger. I wrote all the songs for this one. And it's hard for me to pick a favorite song. Since I don't have any video of me playing these songs, I'll let you hear a little bit of it towards the end. My favorite songs on this is Wishes Were Horses, Big Boat, uh, Deeper and Deeper, Naked Truth, Thank You Love. The one before that was Only Time Will Tell. And I also wrote all the songs for this one too. Some of my favorite songs, which is hard to pick, but I will say Lord Have Mercy, Feel So Good Tonight, I'm Sticking With You, God Helps Them That Help Themselves, Blues Club Roll, and so on. And my first one, Oakland Homesick Blues, Destiny, Heartbreaker, No More Lonely Nights, Cosmic Strut. I only have three because I produce them myself, because I'm very particular about what I say and what I want you to hear. I haven't been signed to a major label or distributor. Yeah, I usually sell them when I play. And when I play, I like playing... Um, 90-minute sets, of course, that's concerts, you know, usually. And uh, I like playing two 50-minute sets, too, you know. And I like, uh, I don't really like it, but I will do four 45-minute sets if that's what it takes to get the job done. Playing solo, I will do in terms of recording, but uh, not uh, performing anymore. That way, I really like playing with a band, and uh, like I say again, and 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 being involved with uh, that type of uh, creative process with uh, other people. I really like playing with the new band I got: Ed Ramirez on drums, John Rockstad on bass, and Neil Barnes on harmonica, and of course me on uh, guitar and vocal. One of the things I like performing live was, uh, is, I should say, is, you know, being on the bill with other performers too, and uh, you both get together and you go out and uh, put on a good show and entertain the people out there. I really enjoy doing that, being a part of that too. It's sort of, uh, uh, when I want to be alone, I go paint. <laughs> but when I'm feeling like I want to be around other people, uh, Yes, I want to play music, yes. And uh, it's a great thing when you uh, come on and you entertain a group of people and you see them walking away with a smile on their face. 
when I pick out the songs for a set, I put them together in a way that I want the audience to be taking on a, a, a ride uh, without them being aware of it. I'm not a preacher, but I, I, there is something uh, subliminal in the way to put together a set that can make people uh, uh, have an experience. That's the word I'm looking for. And I really enjoy that part. We all have our passports and we are ready to travel, ready to play concerts, of course, and clubs, and uh, whatever it takes. Uh, like I said again, uh, we don't have a booking agent. That's something we're looking for towards. We do not have a major label uh, or distributor. Uh, we're looking for all of that. We're looking to up our experiences in the music business and and and, and learn the things we need to learn to uh, be more uh, creative in this business. And of course, uh, having the means to uh, continue it, which means uh, the financial end of it. Uh, we do have a rider. We do like... Um, water, coffee, tea, some towels. Uh, we do like uh, have a few snacks. We do a few beverages, a six pack of uh, a beer that we would specify and a bottle of red wine and uh, some food at the end of the night. And it could be simple as cheeseburgers, uh, Mexican food, Chinese food, soul food. You bring it, we'll eat it, <laughs> especially at the end of the night. And uh, we also um, have our passports ready to travel, and we really hope the next phone call we get is from you, giving us the uh, uh, opportunity to try us out. And. Uh, I guarantee you, you will not be disappointed in our effort.